at 79.9 inches long and 28.1 inches wide, the Smax falls within accepted norms for scooter size, but the 31.3 inch seat type coupled with the width can make it difficult for shorter riders to find the ground with both feet. Even though the company claims to provide plenty of foot space, taller riders will likely feel a bit bound up behind the fairing, and the offset for the pillion prevents the rider from just scooting back a bit for more legroom. Too little legroom for tall riders, and too wide for really short ones. I feel like this Max will only really fit a small percentage of the market Yamaha is trying to reach. The telescopic fork front end is set with 26 degrees of rake, leaving us with 3.2 inches of trail for nimble parking lot maneuvers. A coil over monoshock lays horizontally in the guts of the scoop, leaving more room in the underseat storage. Wheel travel is unremarkable, with 3.1 inches up front and 3.7 inches in the rear, but let's be honest. You shouldn't be jumping the train tracks on any scooter, so front and rear wheel travel is sufficient for its intended purpose. Cast trims mount wide 13-inch hoops, and hydraulic brake calipers bind the wheels via 267mm front and 245mm rear brake discs.